Hello, welcome back to Junk Modeling with Bee. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple flower made out of recycling materials. Let's go get some materials. What you will need is some good sturdy masking tape or some glue, alternatively up to you, um, a pipe cleaner or ribbon or string, a stick, a sturdy stick, and five sheets of recycled paper. Okay. Notice that your paper needs to be rectangular. It doesn't matter too much um, the proportion as long as it's a rectangle. Okay, you're going to fold your piece of paper over corner to corner. Okay, make sure that you run your fingers along the line, open it back up, and then fold towards the middle of your first fold. And run your fingers. Do the same on the other side. So you bring it down to the middle, like so, and then turn it around and repeat the same process on this side so that you end up with a nice diamond shape, like so. Okay, once you do that, you're going to then curl one side into the other side so that you make your first petal. Okay, you can shape it a little bit before deciding how to glue it. And either at this point, you either put a little bit of glue here and stick it down, or alternatively, take a piece of tape, which is what I'm going to do in order to show you more quickly in this video. Um, and you're going to tape the base of your petal. Okay, you have now formed one petal. You'll need to do this five times. Once you've done your five petals, you're now going to attach them to your stick. What you will need to do is put the first petal about a centimeter below the top of your stick and with a piece of tape, quite a big piece of tape, I need you to firmly attach it to that piece of tape, to that uh, stick, okay? Now, turn it around and you're going to repeat the same thing with your next petal. Now be careful here, but make sure that you're not too close to the edge of your stick, otherwise it will be very hard to attach your petals. So you've got one back to back, then turn them on their side and repeat the same process. Stick it down with a piece of tape you can be a little bit strong here with your hands. Keep turning it around, find a space um, where you can attach your next petal. Okay, and for the last one, I just need one more piece of tape. For the last one, you're, you'll find that you're petals start to naturally move around so you'll find a space to place your last petal okay so now you have made yourself a lovely flower okay you may feel that you need to rearrange it a little bit feel free to do so you may also find that you need to put a little bit of tape to reinforce that structure so that it doesn't come undone because that would be a pity okay so I put just a little bit more tape just to reinforce my flower. I'm happy with my petals. And the last thing I'm going to do is just to give it a little bit of a decorative edge. I'm going to put a little bit of um, my pipe cleaner, from, starting from the base of where I put the, uh, the tape. And I'm going to wind it along like so, just to give it. Now with your flower, you can find yourself an old jar um, some ribbon to decorate if you want or something else and you can have it as a vase and then you can add all of your beautiful creations and have yourself beautiful spring flowers enjoy have fun